WCDX-TV Fox 54 public service program designed to address the issues of the Tennessee Valley. The following is a public service announcement disclaimer. Opinions expressed on this program by its speakers and guests are not necessarily the opinion or views of this station, its management, or employees. Fox 54 is pleased to offer responsible persons holding different points of views from those expressed on today's show time to make their opinions known on some future program. Hello and welcome. I'm Bonnie Libhart and you're listening to the Tennessee Valley Voice. This time we're going to be talking about the Aspect Foundation. The Aspect Foundation is primarily an exchange student uh, program where students go from the Tennessee Valley area over to other countries and other students come here. There are at least eight that are coming into the Tennessee Valley area from Denmark, Tokyo, uh, South America, a lot of European, several European countries, and you might have an opportunity to have one of those. I am the president of Toastmasters and then work very much with uh, exchange students from around the world. Love to have people from other countries in my home, and you might enjoy it too. And tell you a little bit about how I got involved, and perhaps you have a reason that you'd like to get involved in it too. I had a daughter who was a person, she learned Russian, she went to the Slavic country, she was a Russian interpreter, and she would bring back these glowing stories about how people are different in other cultures, and other customs that they have, but also how they are alike. The need to be needed and wanted and loved and appreciated. And then some of you may remember that uh, her name's Emily Dawn Libhart, and she was killed on uh, University Avenue. And I was thinking just a, a couple of years ago, walking across the street, and uh, I was thinking about how to further what she's done with her life because I can't go to Russia. I did have an opportunity to take a trip one time around the world, but how could we foster this good communication? And then I thought about becoming involved with the Aspect Foundation. So I'm a volunteer with the Aspect Foundation and I have worked some in television before and in commercial television you may notice like on the some of the shows that they bring all of these new products around Christmas time and one time a company came out with a new cosmetic line I thought I I would try that I said aha I'm gonna smearing this goop all over my face my little one's watching what are you doing that for mother I said that is going to make me beautiful he didn't take his eyes off and then he watched me when I wiped it off 30 minutes later and he said it didn't work did it mother Sometimes we try things and they do not work as well as we'd like for them to. But when we have all the challenges that we have around the world with so Bosnia, Herzegovina, the former Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia, you just don't know where you're going to hear of challenges next in the world. Well, I've found out if you can get acquainted with another young person and you learn their culture and their customs and they learn about you, then we're lo no longer going to be called the ugly American when we travel abroad. And that does happen many times. But this is a w way that you can bring the world e into your home. If you don't have an opportunity to go to some other country, then this would be an opportunity for you to have, uh, have a lot of fun. These people, when they come into your home for a semester, or maybe even a whole school year, they live right in, in your home. Now, they have their own spending money. They have their own clothing. You don't have to buy any of the clothing for them or any of their spending money. Uh, just let them be part of your family. Now that means if you have to mow lawns and if normally your 15, 16 year old would mow the lawn, well, they mow the lawn too. If you make everyone in the family uh, keep their own room clean, they're to keep their own room clean too. Remember, these are the cream of the crop 
from these other areas. They're people, they don't uh, smoke, they don't drink, they don't do drugs, they're making fair grades, mostly pretty good grades. I'll be telling you about a couple of the people that want to come right here, have requested in fact, to come to the South. And so maybe you'd like to have them right in their home. I guess especially since America now has a Southern president, they think, well, hey, I'd like to live in the South and find out what it's like. Because Alabama and Arkansas and Mississippi and Georgia, we're not that different in the way we live. Now, I'm married to a man from Pennsylvania, and let me tell you, different. That's, Pens that's I call him a Yankee, but I've been married to him for 35 years, so I guess I'll uh, keep up with it. But we find that even in our own state, you can go from Huntsville to New Hope to Gunnersville, and you'll find that we have differences of the way we live. But you go from one country to another, yes, there are differences, but there are a lot of things that are alike, too. And so you can have a lot of fun, as I said. Uh, this is showing Humpty Dumpty on the wall. And if you're interested, you call 1-800-US-YOUTH. And we're going to be finding out about how your organization can even earn some money with having, uh, letting us know about a person that could come over uh, that would maybe have a person in their home. And you can we'll teach you how you can get $50 for your club, organization, or group. It can be your Boy Scout group, your Girl Scout group. It could be uh, a civic club or organization that you might, uh, if they let us know, maybe I could come and speak to their group, or one of the aspect representative volunteers could come and speak to their group. And if someone is chosen out of their group, then you get $50 for your organization. I'll be telling you more about that. And believe me, when you have someone in your home from another country, you're not always going to say the right thing. And they say that, and you don't treat them like guests. You know, they say guests are like fish about three days and it's time to leave. You make them like part of your family. They become family. Uh, they are you're going to see the good side and the bad side of them. And so just in, in just a moment, we're going to learn a little bit about some of the people that are going to be coming to the Tennessee Valley area as we continue the Tennessee Valley voice in just a moment. And they're not going to be always saying the right, right things or the things that you'd like to hear. You're not going to always say the right things. I know one day I was doing the news on, in a commercial station and a guy dashed out of the control room, handed me a slip of paper and I looked into the camera and said, this news bulletin just handed me and then I read it. There is something green on your teeth. We can't always take back the words we'd like to take back. But when a you, a, uh, an exchange student is in your home, they're going to find out that, hey, we here in America have warts just like any other country, and so do they. But it's wonderful to find out that they are like us. In just a moment, we'll find out about one of those people. Continuing now with the Tennessee Valley Voice, and this segment is about the Aspect Foundation. The Aspect Foundation is primarily a foundation for exchange students to bring youth over to the Tennessee Valley area and then have some of our youth to go over there and to learn how other cultures live and the customs of other cultures. And I did say that I would tell you about the $50 giveaway. We are going to give any club, organization, or group, Sunday school class, or whatever that's wanting to raise money, $50 if you know of some family, let me know about some family that would like to have the, uh, maybe an exchange student come into their home, then we will give you, just let me know about it. You can dial 1-800-US-YOUTH, Y-O-U-T-H, or 205 area code 582-0240. 
I mentioned in an earlier segment that we had the opportunity to take a trip around the world, and that was one of the reasons I got interested in the Aspect Foundation. I never will forget the day we got off the plane in Rome on the first segment of our trip around the world. There, the security guards had machine guns. Well, our high school senior was with us, our son, and when he got off the plane, he'd had a Oh, it was a photography course, and so there he was with his camera trying to take their pictures, and the security guard came over and grabbed him by the shoulders and said, no, you're not going to, I don't know what they were saying, because the only word I can remember was ciao in Italian, but anyway, they were saying, you will not take our pictures with these burp guns, is what my husband called them. I call them machine guns. They're a little bit more square, but we find out that after we get through, and believe me, they don't all have machine guns, they're wonderful people around the world. We stay mostly in pensions. Pensions are bed and breakfast where you actually live with a family. I'll never forget, we were speaking at a, a place in Malmö, Sweden, and the people we were going to stay with had been over here to our home, and so it was a wonderful experience. Take our son over there and let him see those people and speak to the, their group. And when we knocked on the door, they knew we were coming, but not exactly when. And they said, oh, you crazy people, here we are just showing up on the doorstep. But we found out that people are so similar. And I do want you to know that there's three things that you're going to be learning about uh, how you can help to make this world a better place to live in and make you feel wonderful. And I learned it from my daughter who's traveled in so many countries. And first of all is that you, you primarily get an objective or a vision for what you want to accomplish. Our president has the objective, our uh, leaders are in our community, Fox 54 has its objective. Wherever we are, they have the vision of what they want to accomplish. And I want to help accomplish a better community around the world and a better love for each other. And when we find out that we do are the same, there's a lot of things that are the same that need to be needed, loved, and wanted. And so first of all is your objective, your vision for what you want to accomplish. And then secondly, to get a burning desire to follow what you would like to do. Now you, of course, a lot of people like I sometimes um, might have to sell a little real estate or whatever it is, but what I've learned is that what we want to do with our life, like I like to write books, I've written four books, but I haven't, not too many people have bought very many of them, but I write no matter whether anybody buys them or not. And I think that's what we have to do with some aspect of our life to, is just do what we want to do with our life, get that vision for where we want to go, get the burning desire, and then look for the outcome. Well, there was an outcome of 12 people that let a message go around the world a couple thousand years ago, and we can do the same. We, if one person, let's say that there were 20 people listening to the Tennessee Valley Voice now, that said, hey, I have a, a family member, could be a teenager, could be a younger person, that I'd like for them to experience what it would be like to live in another country, but I can't really go live in another country, so bring the student here to live in your home. And then you will see what that outcome is when you do that. And, and you're going to make mistakes. There are going to be things happen that are not exactly like you would like to have them happen. I know one day, uh, I like to go to garage sales, although when we moved into a smaller place, my husband said, uh, I said, oh, there's a garage sale. He said, which storage are we going to put it in? You know, sometimes we have these ideas of things we want to do, but we don't really, to carry them out isn't sometimes realistic. But if we think we'd like to live in another country, we'd like to go around the world, but maybe that's not a realistic thing. But to have someone come and live in your home, it doesn't even have to be a separate bedroom as long as, you know, it could be two teenage girls that are in the same room. That would be perfectly all right as long as they had, you know, twin beds or whatever. And let that person, your child, experience what it would be like to have another person, maybe uh, 
they, they don't have, say, anyone living in a same room with somebody younger than 13 years old, but they could live in another bedroom and share a bath. That would be perfectly all right if they did. As long as it's girls sharing girls' bath and boys sharing boys' bath, bathroom would be perfectly all right. But we can have that desire, that outcome. And at the next segment, I want you to learn a little bit more about uh, not only the $50 we're giving away, but how that sometimes our dream dies and how we have to revive that other, every once in a while. And I think to have an exchange student like the Aspect Foundation has made it possible for us to have, then that can help you to revive that. And we're going to be coming back in a minute to another segment, the last segment of the Tennessee Valley Voice for the Aspect Foundation. And just to recap, I did say that we are giving $50 giveaway for your club organization or group so that if, in fact, you would like to have a little extra money fundraising for your group, all you have to do is just let me come speak to that group, and if one of them would like to have a person in their home, then that's all you really have to do in order to have that happen for you. So you get a glimpse of your better self when you see and you're able to give of yourself to do something for someone else. Remember, no money is involved. You're not paid and they're not paid. Uh, they have their own money. They fly in. They have the tickets. They fly back home again. There is, in fact, they probably have like $5,000 put back. And one of the girls I wanted to tell you about is not a good picture of her, Metti Christensen, so I'm not really going to show you the picture. She is from Denmark. But Metty is a, she happens to be 16 years old, and she worked doing in a candy star, uh, store, babysitting, and all kinds of different jobs so that she could come to the United States. She's going to be right here in Huntsville, Alabama. Perhaps you get an opportunity to see her when she's here. We'll have her possibly back on Tennessee Valley Boys. I'll be with you in just a moment with a, more information about the Aspect Foundation. Hello again, I'm Bonnie Liphart with Aspect Foundation, continuing on the Tennessee Valley Voice. We are wanting you to help us to bring uh, exchange students from around the world here to the Tennessee Valley area. No money involved, all you need is to provide a home for them for a semester or a school year. And you can learn a lot about another person that's from another world. And you think, well, hey, how's that going to foster communication around the world? Remember the story your grandfather told you about the starfish, where the old man was down by the uh, ocean and starfish had been washed upon the sands and they couldn't get back to the ocean. And so the old man was throwing them back in. Young kid came up and said, hey, old man, what are you doing that for? You know, you can't get all those starfish back in the ocean and save them. He said, it won't make any difference. There's too many of them. And the old man picked up a starfish and looked at it, pitched it back into the ocean and says, it makes a difference with that one. So if you took one student and that person goes back home and fosters good communication with that country and that community, and you sometimes have lost that first love that you had as a young child. And I'm going to relate it as we end about this one. I call uh, about school. Each of us has been placed here on a life and given uh, life for some grand uh, purpose. It was placed in us to develop and through its development to bless humanity. That is the ordained purpose behind each of our lives and your purpose can be accomplished only by you. I have a premonition that soars on silver wings. I know of your accomplishments here in the Tennessee Valley area and other wondrous things. I do not know beneath which sky, nor where you challenge fate. I only know it will be high. I only know with an exchange student in your home, each of you are great to just give us that opportunity. And you may remember about a little girl, I think of it as me, as me and maybe perhaps you or someone you know. 
She always wanted to say things, but no one understood. She always wanted to explain things, but no one cared, so she drew. Sometimes she would just draw and it wasn't anything, but she wanted to carve it in stone or write it in the sky. She would look up and uh, lie down in the grass and look up in the sky, and it was only her and the sky and the things inside her that needed saying. It was after that that she went to school. It was funny about school. She sat in a square brown desk like all the other square brown desks, and the room was tight and square and brown. And she thought it should be painted red. She hated to have the teacher come and look at her. Put your feet flat on the floor. And she always had questions. And she had them to draw. And she drew all yellow. And it was the way God made her feel about mourning. Teacher came and looked at her and said, Why don't you draw dolls and dollhouses like the, all, all of the other girls? And the teacher looked at her and said, why don't you wear a uniform like all the other girls? She said, I don't like uniforms. She wanted to be herself. It was after that that her mother bought her a uniform. And she started drawing dolls and dollhouses like all the other girls. And when she was alone, she would lie out in the grass and look up in the sky. And it was big and blue and all of everything. But she wasn't anymore. She was square inside and brown, and her arms were stiff. And the things inside her that needed saying didn't need saying anymore. How do we get our dream to come alive again? So many times our parents have said, No, don't do that. Don't go where you're not wanted. Don't go near the water till you learn how to swim. Don't wear out your welcome. All these things that are crushed into us. I know because I'm a former teacher. And I do substitute teaching here now. Probably had you in some class. But I've learned that if we can revive that dream again and get that burning desire and look for the outcome of fostering good communication around the world, and it starts in our own home, in our own community. And you can do it one way by having an exchange student from another country, Japan, South America, Europe, Denmark, have Metti Christensen or one of the girls like that to come over. If you want a person who plays the piano, we can ex request one that plays the piano so that if you're musically inclined. If you're a sports person, we can request a sports person because they tell us the kind of personality that they are and, and what the things that they like and you can get the kind that you think would fit into your family if you're an outdoors person then an outdoors type of person whatever you'd like to have to make your family to give out but more than that to make a friendship for a lifetime where you can go over and spend time in their home in their family or maybe your child can't but it doesn't have to be a direct exchange it can be that you can have someone in, in your home even if you're a single person as long as you're 25 years old I had a friend Gary Endahar and I said okay Gary you can't have any blonde 21 year old girls come to your room to your home but if you're 25 and single and have a single home or if you're a grandmother grand grandfather and you'd like to have a youth in your home have plenty of uh, room and would like that well of course everybody's checked out just like the students are but you can let us know dial 205-582-0240 or even Libhart I mean there couldn't be too many of those it's like a disease can't get rid of for the last 35 years uh, ask for that name or just remember 1-800-US-YOUTH and you'll enjoy an academic year or semester of friendship and learning that will last a lifetime. This having a person in your home. So I'm imploring you, if you're complaining about what's happening over in another country, whether it's Bosnia, Herzegovina, if it's over in uh, any of the countries, then first of all, what are you doing to make the world a better place to live? This is one way if there were a way that you could do your part, you'd want to know about it, wouldn't you? You may by dialing 1-800-US-YOUTH and have a student in your home for a semester or a whole school academic year and grow with that person in learning their customs and culture, cultures and don't be 
like the ugly American that complains about not having ice over in another country because in their Coke uh, or whatever it is that causes us to get that name, ugly American. We want to show that we're beautiful Americans, that the South is a wonderful place to be. Be. that the Tennessee Valley area is the very cream of the crop of all the places in the world because we, I chose to live here. I grew up in the South, but I chose to live right here in the Tennessee Valley area and let these people find out why Huntsville is the best place in the world to live. I'm Bonnie Libhart, and for the Tennessee Valley Boys and the Aspect Foundation, bless your heart for watching.